Hello foodies, welcome to Foodland. Let's make Rajma Masala which is kidney beans, great source of protein and lowers bad cholesterol. Let's check out how to make it. Woo! Wash and soak Rajma which is kidney beans overnight. Pressure cook kidney beans with big cardamom and stick of cinnamon cook it for about 20 minutes or pressure cook it for two whistles i have about four cups of soaked and cooked rajma which is kidney beans in insta pot add it on a saute mode and add one tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of oil add some cumin and black pepper corn add one chopped onion and saute this well until it turns brown. Add about two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste and three tablespoons of fried onion paste. Saute this well. Add some tomato puree. I have used four to five tomatoes for this big of a quantity. Saute this well and stir it until the oil oozes out. Add about one tablespoon of salt so that the cooking process gets faster. Add three tablespoons of Kashmiri red chili powder and saute this well. As you can see, the oil started oozing out. This step takes really long time, which is like about 20 minutes or so, but this is the important step. Just because I'm making in a bigger batch, so it takes longer. So now it's time to add our cooked rajma, which is kidney beans. Stir this well and bring it to boil. So add some more water if need to be. Add, add just all the salt and um, red chili powder according to your taste. I've added two more tablespoons because I have a big quantity here. I have also added 1 tablespoon of garam masala, 1 tablespoon of dry mango powder. If you do not have that, you can add um, chaat masala or squeeze some lemon because sometimes the tomatoes are not that tangy. So adjust accordingly. And this is the dried kasuri methi which is dried fenugreek leaves. Let's mix this all together and we are almost done. Add a little bit of butter, tomato ketchup and some sugar. They are all optional but of course enhance the taste. Let's mix this well and the last item is again optional but I am going to add heavy cream. Just a couple tablespoons just to get that creamy texture to Rajma. Add heavy cream about 1 to 2 tablespoons. Uh, this is again optional if you like the creamy texture you can add otherwise you can skip a step and um, garnish this with some chopped coriander our instapot rajma masala is ready enjoy this with jira rice or just plain rice